So hello guys, this video is all about answering the, all the activity for the chapter 5. The activity for the chapter 5. Then first, I'm going to answer the class activity, join my social circle. Um, describe the impact of your ARP request on the network and host performance. The background scenario. This activity can be completed individually in class or outside the class. A lot of our network communication is in the form of email, messaging, text, or instant video chat, and social media posting. For this activity, choose one of the following types of network communication and answer the question in the reflection section. So, since I'm using text or instant messaging, so I choose text and instant messaging. So, reflection. Is there a produce you must follow to register others and yourself so that you can form a communication account? Why do you think that procedure is needed? For example, in texting and instant messaging or even chat, it is important you have your destination because how can you send your message or communicate to the to that people if you don't have your her his or her account number or his or her sim number? How where do you it's like sending files to nowhere? Um the procedure must follow to register other in yourself. So you must um first note um what or who, where you were going to send the message then make sure that you have a connection to each other to have a communication so why do you think that procedure is needed this is needed in order to form a talk to, to make a communication between two devices or two people how do you initiate contact with the person or, or people with whom you wish to communicate how I initiate contact with them. So I'm just um sending my first message to him and her and then um wait for the for his or her um call that reply. How do you ensure that your conversation are received only by those with whom you wish to communicate? Um sometimes I ensure in messenger I ensure that the the message I want to to send to the to the person I want to communicate is when there is a symbol of the of seen. At least I know that that the person seen my message. And also the most right way to ensure that your conversation are received by those people if they um got a reply on your on your message so next is for the activity so this activity mac and llc sublayers instruction description of mac and llc sublayers are provided in the table Click in the Mac of the LLC field to match the description, the correct sublayer. So, hacker characteristic controls the the network interface card through software device drivers. Um, my answer for this is LCC. Then works with the upper layer to add application information. For delivery of data to higher level protocol, I answer it LLC. Then, then works with the hardware to support bandwidth requirements and check errors in the bit sent and receive. I answered it as Mac. Then, then controls access to media through signaling and physical media standard requirements. The one to control is um, answer Mac. Then supports Ethernet technology by using CSMA or CD or CSMA or CA. 
um, form the answer is MAC. Then, remains relatively independent or physical equipment. LLC. I'm going to check this. So, our answer is correct. Let's proceed for my next activity. So, activity. Identify Ethernet frame field names. So, drag the 802.3 Ethernet frame field's name and its description. Sorry. Then, so description. Use this pad to increase this frame field to at least 64 bytes. There's this, that field is the 802.2 header and data. Then, describe which layer or which higher layer protocol has been used. It is type. Then, the frames originating NIC interface MAC address. Um, the, the answer is the source address. Then, assist a host in determining if the frame received is addressed to it. The, the answer is destination address. And notifies destination to get ready for new frame. It is the preamble. Then, synchronize sending and receiving device for frame delivery. It is the start of frame delimiter. Then, detects errors in Ethernet frame. It is the frame check sequence. Check. Correct. So, the next activity, identify the Ethernet frame field's name. So, instruction, drag the Ethernet frame field names to its correct location on the diagram. So, the 7, the IEE802.3 Ethernet frame fields. 7 bytes. Um, the 7 bytes is the preamble. The 1 byte is the start of the frame delimiter. 6 byte is the destination address and another 6 byte is the source address. The 2 bytes is the length the f oops length again then the 46 to 1500 5, bytes is the 802 header then the 4 bytes is the frame Check sequence. Check. Next activity. Next activity is frame forwarding method. So, description of switch frame forwarding methods are providing in the table. Click in the store and forward or cut through fields to match the method to the description description buffer frames until the full frame has been received by switch it is star forward i guess um check the frame for errors before releasing it out of its switch port if the full frame was not received, the switch disregard. I guess this is the store and forward. Then, no error checking of on frame is performed by switch before releasing the frame out of its port. I think it's cut through. A great method to use the conserved bandwidth in your network. It is store and forward. The destination network interface card disregard any incomplete frames using the frame forwarding method cut through. The, the faster switch 
caching method but may produce more errors in data integrity, therefore more bandwidth may be consumed. I think it is cut through. Let's check. Okay, I answered it. The next activity. It is... Ready did this. So I also for finish this activity. So that's my activity for the for the chapter five and thank you for watching.